apartment hunting in the great New York City. I pretty much moved every one to two years. My entire life, I lived in Flushing, Elmhurst, Richmond Hill, Jackson Heights, Upper West Side, a couple of neighborhoods in Long Island, and even all the way in Michigan. I've never lived in Lower Manhattan, but I really enjoy the neighborhood, the restaurants, the events, the vibe here. So I'm thinking of moving here for the next phase of my life. Before, I have to get married, get kids, and need more space. Let's get apartment hunting. So here's a checklist of what I'm looking for in this potential new apartment. For the size of it, I'm looking for a studio or one bedroom, preferably one bedroom because on the Upper West Side, I had a studio that was pretty tight and the kitchen and the bed were like in the same room, so everything smells. There's a lot of tall buildings in Manhattan, but the highest that I'm willing to walk is the fourth floor, maybe the fifth floor, but I actually never seen a sixth floor, so I'm gonna say my limit is fourth floor for the amount of stairs I want to walk, or it has to have an elevator in the building. I love natural light at home, so preferably I would love south-facing windows, which gets the most direct sunlight. Eastern exposure gets the morning light, and the western exposure gets the afternoon light, so those could work out as well. Just no northern exposure, please, because that gets no direct sunlight. I'd also love high ceilings because that would make the space feel much bigger than it is. The location is really important too because I want the space to be safe, quick access to the subways, and a lot of good food options around. For my budget, it's definitely risen across the years, and for Lower Manhattan, definitely gotta increase that. So right now, it's at 2.9K to 3K a month, but the lower, the better. I definitely want a formal kitchen to cook in, so something more than just a microwave, a toaster oven, and a mini fridge. And last but not least on this checklist, vibes. You just know when you walk into an apartment sometimes if you like it or you don't. So a really important thing when you're apartment hunting in New York, you gotta check out the apartment for yourself in New York instead of trusting the pictures because sometimes it doesn't correlate. Recap, so for my checklist of what I'm looking for in this potential new apartment, I'm looking for a studio to one bedroom, highest, fourth floor, maybe fifth floor, or elevator in building, a lot of natural light, high ceiling, safe location, quick access to subways, fitting inside my budget or lower, has to have a formal kitchen, and vibes. So I also have a nice to have list, things that aren't mandatory to have, but it'd be really nice to have. So that includes a laundry and building, doorman, extra storage space, and outdoor space or rooftop access. For the apartments that I saw in this video, there are three neighborhoods that I visited, West Village, East Village, and Lower East Side. I used Street Easy because I always found it to be better organized, easier to contact agents, and set up times to view the apartments. Almost all of these apartments have a 15% broker's fee, except for two of them. We'll get to that later. That means 15% of the annual rent. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. So if you're going apartment hunting in New York, there's a list of things that's generally required for approval. I'm gonna list it out right here on the screen because there's a lot to go through. So just pause it and take a screenshot. Okay, that was a lot of talking. Let's get into the apartments. So for all of these apartments I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna do a pros and cons list. Apartment one, let's go. This apartment was brightly lit with south facing windows. It's on a third floor, one bedroom. It was advertised as a studio with an extra room for a bed or a walk-in closet. So those are the pros. For the cons though, slanted floors, no microwave, no kitchen counter space. The layout of this apartment was kind of weird because the shower was in the kitchen and the toilet with no sink was in the bedroom. So yeah, it was a weird living space layout. That's number one. So I'm reading my notes of my pros and cons of each apartment, so that's why I look down that way. <laughs> so the second apartment was the first floor studio. It was the only apartment in the building with a dishwasher and one of the only ones with a full fridge. There's a microwave, there's an outdoor garden backyard space, which was shared with the whole building. It was newly renovated, had a little walk-in closet, a sunny, and it was a front-facing street view. However, this apartment was on the first floor, so people could look in. People going to the shared outdoor space, backyard, they could just Peek right in. The garbage disposal and the recycling bins were right outside. It was newly renovated, had a dusty smell, but that could dissipate. And there were two small stove tops. So the third apartment I saw, second floor, one bedroom. High ceilings, good closet space. They were doing work in the space, so hopefully they're renovating it a little. It was an old feeling space, there was no microwave, and the lighting wasn't amazing here. 
fourth apartment, fifth floor, one bedroom. This one definitely had better lighting than the one I just saw. There was a bigger closet than the previous one with double doors. High ceilings, everything was newly renovated three years ago. Ah, but there's a con for this one as well. It's on the fifth floor. And there's a whole flight of stairs going into the building as well. So that's like six floors. This fifth apartment, first floor, one bedroom. Recently renovated as well, five windows in unit. However, it was right by the entrance on the first floor so people could just look in. There was not that much light in the bedroom. The windows were facing a different building and there was no microwave. The sixth apartment that I saw was also in the same building. It was on the fourth floor, one bedroom. It was really sunny, large windows for the southern exposure, and there were high ceilings. I didn't find any cons with this one, but the thing was, it was already in contract. Yeah, a little too late there. So for this seventh apartment, I walked five flights of stairs up. There was a lot of stairs going inside the building as well. So there's kind of like six staircases. I walked all the way up there, but I actually ended up not being able to see this apartment because there was no realtor. The realtor stepped out. I don't know, I called them and they're like, yeah, we'll send someone soon, but no one came. So I just kind of didn't see it. But what I know is that it's on the fifth floor, one bedroom. And this one was really exciting too because you rent directly from the building owner. So no fee. This is the only one on the list with no broker's fee. But we didn't end up seeing it. Are you, are you still with me? We are in number eight. This one's a third floor studio. It has a high ceiling with a separate sleeping loft. The view outside the window looked like it offered more privacy. However, I must have missed this when I was looking at the listing because it didn't have a formal kitchen. So this one had an open kitchenette with a mini fridge and two small stove tops. And the bathroom was super tight with a tiny sink. So that was a no-go for me. Number nine, third floor, one bedroom. This one had a built-in AC, a kitchen bar, sunny bedroom with two large windows, and ample closet space. The one con of the space though, the living room didn't get a lot of light because the one bedroom faced the building. Hey, we're on number 10, third floor, one bedroom. So this apartment I saw it with no light, but apparently it's a sunny bedroom with eastern exposure, so you get the morning light with the two windows. And there's ample closet space with overhead storage. The condo is the same as before. The living room didn't get a lot of light since the window faced the building. Light is hard to come by. This one is a one bedroom on the second floor. It has laundry in the building, sunny bedroom with two windows, ample closet space with overhead storage and high ceilings. Number 12, fifth floor, one bedroom. It's on the fifth floor, but it's an elevator building. The elevator was slow, but it worked. Once you get into an apartment, high ceilings, sunny bedroom, two windows. And instead of the usual 15% broker's fee, the fee was half of one month's rent, commission with the landlord. Number 13, I actually really like. It was on the second floor, one bedroom, nice elevator building, Virtual doorman, super nice apartment space, sunny bedroom with two windows, newly renovated kitchen had a dishwasher, there was a huge mirror in the marble bathroom, there's AC and heating built in, there's a nice rooftop deck open to all residents on the seventh floor, and there's a dedicated laundry room in the basement. I like the space a lot. However, we met a girl living in the building in the elevator who said that the package room was not it. She said people just open the boxes, random packages, and leave things strewn around. Inside the apartment, there were no windows in the living room area, and the service was not good. I think that was a big factor for me. I have AT&T and I couldn't load web pages. I couldn't pull up Google Maps. I couldn't send a text. So this one, the cons outweigh the positives. Number 14, fifth floor, one bedroom. It's sunny with east facing windows. It will be painted and new cabinets will be installed. Two ACs will come with the unit from the tenant. The laundry was in the building and there's high ceilings. Cons, cons, cons. Fifth floor. However, these stairs are smaller than the long ones from before. There's no microwave. That's fine. Number 15, second floor, one bedroom. Everything will be renovated and the window view has its privacy. So this one, the broker's fee was not just to set 15%, it's flexible for a good tenant. However, this was the worst one that I saw on this list. I didn't like it. I mean, I know everything will be renovated, but during my visit, everything just felt old and sticky and dirty and yuck. There was no light in there, so I was kind of afraid to touch any doors to pull them open. But I'm sure it'll be a nice space once everything is renovated. All right, guys, number 16. I entered through one building and went through the back of another building to get to this apartment. This one's a studio on the second floor. It has a fold and wash laundry service for an extra fee, and the apartment was freshly painted and clean. So I went to this apartment at 2 p.m. There was not that much lighting at that time. There was no microwave and the bathroom sink was pretty tiny. Number 17, first floor studio. The kitchen has its own corner in the back of the apartment, so that layout was pretty nice. The building is very on top of cleanliness and there's a bike rack space as well. For the cons, 
It's right by the entrance on the first floor, so people can see in. It's darker with the western exposure, so there's more light in the afternoon evenings apparently, but it's pretty dark and there's no microwave. Hey guys, we're at the 18th apartment now. This one's a one bedroom on the fourth floor. New floors were put in. There's good lighting in both the living room and the bedroom because the windows are south facing. There's many windows in here and the broker's fee instead of the 15%, 13%. There's not that many cons with this apartment. I would say the only con would be the living room window faces other apartments, but that one's not too big of a deal. Okay, last but not least, this is the 19th apartment. This one's a one bedroom on the fourth floor. It has a large sunny bedroom with two windows. Ben came with me to see this apartment, so please enjoy the extra footage of this nice space. The apartment features a small kitchen counter space. The bedroom felt big to me, but the rest of the space felt a little cramped, especially the kitchen and living room area. All right guys, we made it through 19 apartment viewings, or let's say 18 and a half because I didn't get to see one of them, but that was a lot. So there were a couple apartments that I was interested in, but I was too slow to bite the bullet and submit an application in for them. They've since been rented or under contract already. The rental market goes crazy fast here, especially in August and September when the weather is really nice and school starts back up again and there's a high turnover and many more options on the market. It seems like every year I always start looking to move around this time. Is it an internal clock kind of thing? Even though I didn't get to lease any of these, the apartments were fun to look at anyway, although stressful and time consuming for sure. I hope you all enjoy coming along this apartment tour journey with me and I hope this video helped a little in your apartment hunt as well. See you next time! It was advertised as a studio. Sorry, there was a bug there. Recently renovated as well, five units. Bleh, sorry. This one is a third floor studio. Ah! Oh, there's a bug! Um, it's a, a... So this apart... Oh, however... Oh, the pro though. I mean the condo was the same as before. There's a nice rooftop. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my voice. I talk so much in this video. I'm feeling my voice like. <laughs> okay.